A popular Puerto Rican boxer is being held for the brutish of his pregnant girlfriend. He isn't the only professional boxer who has chosen this dark path. In this video, we'll go over the astonishing case of Felix Sanchez and other boxers who have committed the ultimate dark act. Puerto Rican Olympic boxer Felix Verdejo Sanchez, known as El Diamante, turned himself into police to face charges on the untimely of his pregnant girlfriend, Kishla Rodriguez. The boxer who competes in the lightweight division is facing charges stemming from taking the 27-year-old woman against her will and carjacking resulting in her in that of her baby. 27-year-old Felix Verdejo Sanchez is charged with and carjacking resulting in the of Kishla Rodriguez Ortiz. There are also charges for carrying a firearm in the commission of such acts. A second person has been named in the incident, Luis Antonio Cadez Martinez. Both men have pleaded not guilty in a virtual court hearing and are awaiting trial. Felix began boxing at the tender age of nine and quickly made a name for himself. He was a Pan American Youth Champion and competed in the 2012 Olympics. He won many titles, including the new Hispanic Promise title in 2013. Felix married Puerto Rican social media influencer Elise Mary Santiago Sierra in 2012, and they had a daughter, Miranda. Kishla and Felix were middle school friends who stayed in contact throughout the years. It is unclear how long the two had been involved romantically. According to her mom, Kayla Ortez Rivera, Felix flew into a rage when Kishla told him she was pregnant and demanded she get rid of it. When she told him that she was pregnant, then he started threatening her. Felix was unwilling to start a family with Kishla, saying he was a public figure with a wife and family. The publicity could destroy his image and career. Kishla wasn't put off by Felix's attitude. She wanted her baby, with or without him in the picture. She arranged a date with Felix to show him the pregnancy test with the hope that he would change his mind and be a father to their child. Felix had something else in mind. Felix had contacted Luis Antonio Cadez Martinez, a former federal convict, and offered him cash to help him do away with his pregnant girlfriend. According to the FBI indictment, the two brainstormed for several days about how to commit the atrocity. When Felix arrived at Kishla's home, he talked her into following him to an undisclosed location where Martinez was waiting. Felix then got in the car with Kishla. As Felix and Kishla sat in the car, the boxer with more than a dozen knockout wins punched her in the face. He used a syringe to inject her with an unknown substance and tied her hands and feet to a cinder block with wire with the help of Martinez. No information has been disclosed about what was in the syringe, only that it was purchased at a housing project that is known for the exchange of illicit substances. The pair then threw her over a bridge, after which Martinez fired his gun at her as she sunk under the current. Felix was unaware that Kishla had called her mom, Kayla, moments before he arrived. When two hours had passed, Kishla's sister called their mom to see why Kishla hadn't reported to work. This immediately set alarm bells ringing. Kishla was a dog groomer. She loved pets and had rescued two dogs and two cats of her own, and she never missed work. Her family knew something bad had happened. They called Felix, but he said he had no idea where she was. The family filed a missing persons report. Kayla told police that Felix was the last person to see her, and he was unhappy about the impending birth. Police brought him in for questioning. He was belligerent and refused to answer even the simplest of questions. Only a few days later, Kishla's friends were discovered in a lagoon near the capital city of San Juan. Rodriguez's body was discovered in a lagoon near San Juan, Puerto Rico, two days after she was reported missing. She was identified by dental records. Felix turned himself in the following day and told the police his unbelievable actions. Martinez is working as a witness for the FBI. Capital punishment is against the law in Puerto Rico, but both men may still come face to face with it in federal court. The indictments against them hold special findings that state, Verdejo Sanchez procured the commission of the offense by payment or promise of payment. Cadiz Martinez committed the offense as consideration for the receipt or in the expectation of the receipt of anything of pecuniary value. 
Felix's wife, Elise Marie Santiago Sierra, has remained quiet during this horrific occurrence. Although she is a highly influential public persona in the territory, she is a beauty and lifestyle influencer with more than 40,000 followers. Her social media accounts are full of happy pictures of her husband and their daughter. It is unclear if she was aware of the relationship between her husband and Kishla. Thousands turned out to mourn the young woman in San Juan days after her surfaced. Kishla's mother addressed the crowd. What I want is justice for Kishla. The entourage slowly walked to the Villa Esperanzo housing project, where Kishla lived and where Puerto Ricans have created a memorial to commemorate her life. There, the family released four white doves. Kishla's father, Jose Antonio Rodriguez, stated that the family does not want to see a capital punishment verdict. That doesn't solve anything for me. What's done is done. Let him remember every day who my daughter was. Strangely enough, Felix isn't the only boxer who sunk to such depths. Edwin Valero was a Venezuelan boxer at the beginning of a brilliant career when he fell victim to childhood demons, drink, and other illicit substances. One night in a hotel room, he took Jennifer Valero's with a blade he had in the room, then went downstairs and whispered what he had done to a member of the hotel staff. Police arrived to find 24-year-old Jennifer Valero on the bed with three puncture wounds. Valero was taken into custody, but himself in the cell the next day. WWE star Chris Benoit took the life of his wife and son in 2007. He then took his own life. It was determined during autopsies that his wife, Nancy, was the first to die. He had bound her hands and feet together, and she passed away from asphyxia. Evidence show he placed his knee in her back and used the leverage to pull a cord around her neck. Their son, Daniel, had been sedated and then asphyxiated in his sleep. How did we know that Chris Benoit would turn into a monster? The next day, Chris Benoit himself in his weight room. He had placed Bibles near his wife and son. In the ensuing years, there have been several theories about Benoit's motives. Many believe it was a product of depression brought on by many years of steroid use. Others believe it was due to the many concussions he had withstood in his decades-long career. Still, others believe he had an issue with alcohol and the ongoing marital issues he faced drove him to commit the horrifying acts. Norman Selby, known as Charles Kid McCoy, is another instance of love-mad boxers. His craft and quick wit in the ring led him to a record of 86, 7, and 10, with 65 KOs in the early 19th century and a place as one of the greatest boxers to ever live. His career afforded him a colorful life with friends like Charlie Chaplin at one time, but as his star faded, so did his morals. In 1924, a down and out McCoy refused to let the married lady he was involved with return to her husband and took her with his gun. The woman's husband was a wealthy antiquities dealer. McCoy went to his antique shop to wait on him, but he wasn't there. Instead, McCoy lined up the employees and patrons and robbed them at gunpoint. He was later apprehended and found guilty of manslaughter in 1924. He was released on parole in 1932 and died eight years later. Do you believe Felix Sanchez should receive a federal capital punishment sentence? What do you think caused Chris Benoit to take the lives of his whole family? If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button for fresh content every week.